Jeff's making fun of my receded hairline. Curtis still has hair, and Jeff doesn't have hair at all, so he has no room to talk. Welcome back to the Snap My Work. I'm Dave Moore. This is Beverage Buddies. Joining me, of course, are my two best friends, Jeff Daly and Curtis Lane. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Hi, how's Curtis. It going? What's going on, Dave? Oh, oh, hi. Hi, Curtis. Wow. He gets two highs. Hello. Yeah, he... I, get, I get multiple highs. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How have you been? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good, Jeff. You want to just pretend like Curtis isn't here? Who's Curtis? That's yeah, no I know. Fun. Who's this jerk? That's mean. I feel the bullied. <laughs> yeah. Bullied over here. Welcome to Beverage Buddies, where we pick on Curtis. Where we count oh, things. Call my agent. <laughs> where we count them. Count them. Anyway. Count them. Uh, because Curtis is actually the one who provided this wonderful oh. beverage for this yeah. episode of Beverage Buddies, we allow him to be here. Hi. Hi, Curtis. Hi. I Hi. bought the thing. That's I the only reason I'm here. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about this this uh, beverage we have been provided with, Curtis? Sure. So uh, I came across this at Costco a couple years back. It's uh, I'm gonna pr- I'm gonna butcher this so badly. Bundaberg. I'm just going with Bundaberg. Did you Bund- say a Bundaberg. Years back. Yeah, I, I see it every year at Costco. But I had it was like five years ago when I first got my Costco membership. They had free samples of it. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna try it. So I tried it, and then I was like, I don't want to buy 12 of these. So then he proceeded because years later time, to buy 12 specifically well, for this well, show. Well, also, at the time, I wasn't drinking soda. So it was super good, if I remember it correctly. But uh, it's from Australia. It's family-owned. And they also only come out with the uh, Christmas or the spiced Christmas edition once a year, obviously. Mm-hmm. And they're very limited quantities. Um, the only place I've seen it sold is um at costco for the most part i've seen the four packs online but never a store that they're like they're provided at Mm -hmm. jeff Jeff, how do you feel about this i would like to point out that this has the greatest slogan i've ever read it's naturally flavored with other natural flavors (laughs) (laughs) and then they also say it's craft brewed over three Days. days yep <laughs> not months three years pretty much three days it's <laughs> also i do want to point hours. out to you guys real quick do invert this beforehand because all the good stuff's at the bottom you got to invert it oh, i don't do shake. like just i do it. like ginger beer i don't know about you guys i really like it I'm i've only ever had it. one ginger beer in my life um and the way i remember it is just being very strong ginger ale and uh not being too happy with it Mm-hmm. But I'm always willing to try new things. That's why we started a YouTube channel doing it. Yep. Yeah. And I also want to point out one of the other cool things about this is it's not made with high fructose corn syrup. It's, no, it's uh, just cane sugar. Well, d- didn't you know that outside of the United States and a lot of countries, high fructose corn syrup is banned in products? Like I mean, it most makes sense. all of European Union, it's banned. It's like only a thing in U.S. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, only in the country where we refuse to take care of our own health would we be allowed to use uh, sugar that kills us all really fast. Hey, man, it's it's high fructose. (laughs) But I will say that this looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I like the way the the tab comes off. So it's it's kind of cool. It's not like a twist off. It's just a tab you pull. It's super fun. I have the bottle opener. I have my mysterious bottle opener here prepared to open this in case we had needed it but i guess it's not a it's just a tab you but know, it makes even, it so much easier it you does guys? say invert bottle that's pretty oh, cool yeah it, it says it invert oh, before invert. opening all right i thought curtis is just being being too good oh. for us no it, it says it, it says on, on the bottle, bottle. <laughs> you know what just yeah. guys it's like i'm just trying to make your experience as much as i can make it here and you guys are just like throwing me into the wolves so, so oh. not to the wolves into the wolves <laughs> so so ginger ginger soda is very spicy to begin with like i would give it that spicy kind of taste like when it says spiced what do we expect here pumpkin spice just spice no. just like cinnamon and clove yeah that's what it says as in so yeah. cinnamon on top of ginger and clove. Yeah. And clove. Cuz I definitely know so what clove. You're expecting this to be spicy. 
Like real so, spicy. So I mean, Bundaberg be. is the city in Australia where it's made. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Did you, did you happen to look it up? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't know it was a city. That's actually pretty cool. How many servings oh, yeah, are in this bottle, uh, guys? Pretty cool. All right. You said They're you partnered with up? Pepsi. Uh, sure, we'll, sure, we'll open it up. Oh, I thought that's what you said. I was like, oh, all right. Let's I said, how many servings are in this bottle? Because once it's open, I'm just drinking one, the whole thing. One serving. One serving. Oh, the man. one cool thing that I like is I'm all about these tiny little bottles. Okay, so I'm, oh, I know. I'm pulling the tab, and I'm not doing this very successfully. Um, oh, my so gosh. Like, how do you? So I'm going to spill this everywhere. You hold it like a grenade. You, you pull it up like that. Yeah, like I've ever hauled a grenade before. <laughs> Count them. I got... I've held oh, zero dude. grenades. Count them. I just, Count them. Zero you just, grenades. You just pull it, Jeff. You just, just give I it a... I got it. Okay. Um, what the heck? It's so satisfying. It's I got a TV huge, TV. huge whiff of that, that spicy, that like Christmas spicy mm, smell as soon as yeah. I even like pulled the tap. That's just Christmas in a bottle. It is That's Christmas. so cool. Oh, you know those um those cinnamon pine cones? Yeah, that's what this smells like. Yeah, it's yeah. like if you just smashed one up and like put it in your face. It's basically what it smells like. Oh, that kind of scares me because like I've never <laughs> I've never thought like, hey man, you know what would be really good? Eating one of these 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 scented pine cones. <laughs> but you never looked at them and went, mmm, with some ice cream, just a crushed up pine cone. <laughs> I buy those every year and put them in the fake tree to make this fake tree smell like like a real tree, kind of. Not really, but like to give it a give it a Christmas smell in the living room. Never have I thought I'm going to eat that. I mean, that's a that's a, a fair assessment to this that. It's Christmas. Mm. It smells like Christmas, everybody. Jeff, what do you think? It smells like spiced ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it smells really good. It does smell like Christmas. It's almost like it says that on the label. I feel like it's it's definitely more intense than like your basic ginger ale or Canada Dry or something like that. I don't smell mm-hmm. the ginger of it very much. I'm getting the think, cinnamon spice of it all. Do you think it's like uh, Guinness where to make it last across the seas they have to uh, put what? What? nitrogen in it is it nitrogen what do they put in it yeah they put nitrogen in the little ball yeah. in the bottle of the guinness yeah i don't know if it would be that that would be kind of cool though Wait, that's, nitrogen that's ginger that little, beer that's what that little ball in guinness is yeah yes oh, i had no idea it's also it, what it, gives it that uh layering effect and why it tastes flat and watery kind of yeah <laughs> uh, you're, it tastes you're a way better person tastes better in ireland I, i've been to ireland i drank it, it tastes way better all right, so All right. are, are we ready? It? We already to take a big sip of this. Oh, well, that's what we're about to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna make me laugh and spit it out. Bundaberg. It sounds sounds like bunghole. Oh my god. Yeah, it's that's, tasty. That's delicious. That's amazing. It's not overly sweet. You don't get too much cinnamon. It's not overly ginger. Mm mm. It's it's like it's just, this perfect balance of like sweetness and cinnamon and ginger and oh and just I wonder what the regular ginger beer tastes like. Good thing we have a bottle of that to try here up on the channel, the Snack Network. So make sure you hit that subscribe <laughs> button, like <laughs> and don't forget to hit that bell. Make sure you hit that like button for part two. According to YouTube statistics, the vast majority of people who watch it aren't subscribed. So you should subscribe and support us. <laughs> the vast majority are not subscribed. <laughs> I can the see seven the, billion people on this planet. I can see the seven, uh, seven views that we got on this video. Um, yes, <laughs> seven views. Wow. I know. Welcome, Keith. <laughs> Guys, this is delicious. I don't even know. It is really good, honestly. Um, it's there is a, there is a spice here. Yeah, there's a there's definitely ginger in it. Like, and it, that's what it is. And there's yeah, there's definitely ginger, but like the ginger ales, like the real ginger ales, not the Canada Dry garbage, right? That's different. Um, I have always felt tasted too gingery, too spicy, too. Eh. This is like. 
you threw Christmas and put it in a bottle and said, here you go. Enjoy this sweet, wonderful aroma of ginger beer. I could drink this whole thing. I could drink I this whole thing, no problem. I could drink this every holiday. So if if I could tell you, that, uh, Dave and or Jeff, because you're mm-hmm. also here and I'm not ignoring you because I'm inclusive. <laughs> um, so there's one big difference between this and like <laughs> this and your ginger ale that you'll get at the store. So one, it's the artificial flavoring. Obviously, when you throw in ginger and all that stuff, it's just going to taste different. Right. So ginger beer is actually made different overall. So when they say it's brewed over three days, like Jeff so graciously pointed out, mm-hmm. um, it's actually fermented for three days like a beer. But it's not alcoholic because it doesn't create alcohol. Uh, but it is fermented, so it gives you more of that natural, actual ginger flavor. They make teas that way. They make lots of teas that yeah. way. And if, if you let this sit for too long, it would probably it would probably turn alcoholic a little bit. Yes. Ferment yes. a mm-hmm. little bit. But that would have to sit on... You know, the shelf for years and years. Well, like if they were fermenting, it probably like about three weeks. But yeah. Um, well, if you were purposely yeah. doing it, I meant like <laughs> by accident. <laughs> oh yeah, I get you. Oh yeah, it's like oh yeah, I forgot my Bundaberg over there. Better go try <laughs> it. Better go go drink it. it oh, expired in nineteen ninety three. Better go uh better try it. <laughs> I was I was kind of kind of nervous about this to be honest. But really? Yeah, I thought I thought it could be too strong. It could be too spicy. It could be overwhelming and one of those things you like, well I'm glad I tried it, but I don't want to drink this whole bottle versus lots of alcohols and beverages of that style that do get too strong. Like I enjoy this taste. Yeah, it's delicious. I do really like it. I need to save some for Candace. I know. It's the only, it's the only part is, do we finish it or we, do we let the ladies <laughs> try it? Curtis is the only one with more bottles. I mean, it's on, uh, just just a, a, a statement real quick. It is on sale at Costco right now. You get 12 bottles for nine ninety nine. dollars 99 Oh, crap. Fast. Jeff's like, I, mean, I get 30, 36 <laughs> bottles. Go for it, man. That will ask me like. Dave's having an episode. Over I'm having a hiccup days. episode already. Just, just, just to Start hiccuping. Me. Just... <laughs> Are you sure it's not alcoholic? I mean, I don't know at this point. You know, I might have. Uh, it might have been a little, little alcoholic. You never know. Curtis may have, may have uh, spiced it himself. If you know what I mean. This is specially spiced uh, with rum, vodka, <laughs> and a little bit of bourbon. So Ooh. it's delicious. <laughs> One fifty one, which isn't even made anymore. No way. Anyway, guys, what? thank you so much for watching Beverage what, Buddies. What do you rate this out of 100? Uh, 85. 82. Yeah, I'd give this an 83. <laughs> we're, in, we're, we're, in a shot, we're in a good close shotgun pattern right there. I like it. Because scales it's, definitely matter. Percentage is the best thing we've ever had on Beverage Buddies. I think it's the most pleasantly surprising thing we've had on Beverage Buddies. Versus things we tried that we knew would be good. This we weren't sure. Oh. Like like vanilla Coke or orange vanilla Coke. Now it's as good those, as uh, that praline soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot was about the, those. Mm. That orange Twizzler episode was pretty intense, I gotta say. <laughs> orange Twizzler. Yeah, Jeff I and I shot videos, so many Jeff. There's so many videos we shot that I'm not even sure we ever put up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we have so much bad content. Oh no! And then we might never put it up on this channel. But welcome to the Snack Network, everybody, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button for more of this. If you guys Found enjoyed it. it, subscribe. We'll be making tons of videos here, not just Beverage Buddies, but also the brand new show Taste Buds, taking over for Time to Taste, where we yep. treat food. Time to taste. Yo guys, thanks All right, for you, this is Beverage Buddies with J D D D C L and J D. D D you ask? <laughs> Designated driver. <laughs> <laughs>